Good evening or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. It's an early Sunday morning. You leave to go to work on the farm, leaving your pregnant wife alone in the house to take care of the unborn baby. You decide that it's best to let her have some alone time, and you decide to go hang out with some male friends at the local pub. He asks, how is your wife doing? And you tell him that she's well. Thanks for asking. You come home later that night and discover that her abdomen has been torn open like a sack of potatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your friendly neighborhood spirit detective, and this is the Filipino legend called the Mananagal. The legend of the Mananagal is deeply rooted in the Filipino folklore and has been passed down from generation to generation changing and evolving along the years. However, the end result of the Vananagal is always the same, torn open like a pain can and left to rot for an unexpected traveler to find it. According to some versions of the story, the Mananagal is a beautiful woman who is cursed or possessed by a demon. The Mananagal is often depicted as having large bat-like wings and sharp claws. Some versions of the story also describe the creature as having long pointed tongue that she uses to pierce the flesh of her victims. In traditional folklore, the Mananagal is believed to prey primarily on pregnant women and their unborn babies, tearing open their womb with its sharp claws and then using its sharp tongue to drink the pregnant woman bone dry, leaving nothing left except for an empty husk. In some versions of the legend, the Mananagal is also said to feed on the blood of other animals or humans and to have a particular fondness of the hearts of men. It was said the only way to feed the Mananagal was to wait for the being to split apart from its lower half in the evening and then searing its flesh with garlic and salt, preventing the beast from reattaching, allowing it to burn away in the sun. The legend of the Mananagal is often used as a cautionary tale warning people to be wary of beautiful people who use their beauty as a mean to gain more power. And unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Spirit Detective Bureau for more tales from the spirit world, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao.